Ever since being seriously injured during a training accident in early 2016, John Degenkolb has been fighting to find the form that saw him win both Milan San Remo and Paris-Roubaix less than a year before. However, the Trek Segafredo fast man enjoyed a huge win last season in the shape of a Tour de France stage victory over the cobbles to Roubaix. Last season was, uh, in general, I think very successful with uh, the stage win in the Tour, which was fantastic, I think, for everyone. If there's for such a long time no victory coming, then the pressure rises up, of course, and uh, that's um, a hard uh, situation to handle. In the end, it uh, turned out to be, to be really nice. I mean, that winning feeling uh, after um, doing Doing that uh, great stage was, uh, was fantastic. It was, it was unbelievable. All these hard moments, let's say, uh, they um, they were inside me, and uh, they they came out at in, in, at one point and uh, at one moment, and uh, that made it so emotional. Um, I think I've never experienced, uh, yeah a victory with so many emotions uh, after. Of course, if when I won the big classics uh, before, then it was also something very, very special, but uh, this was something unique, I, 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 can, I would say. Now in his third season with Trek, Degenkolb's tour win showed he's still more than capable of delivering on the big occasions. And the 30-year-old German would love nothing more than to add another monument victory to his brilliant collection later this spring. The classic season last year was not as we were hoping for. I, uh, I was sick and injured, and so that was, uh, yeah, not helping a lot. And uh, um, I was I was always uh, behind, let's say. So I'm more than motivated and eager to change this uh, for this upcoming classic period which is very important for me but also of course for the team and uh, we have a super strong team I think this year we young guys uh, developed and, and brought themselves to a higher level than, than before so we can fight together as a, a really strong team uh, um, on the highest level I think and they're going for the line. Matthews is not going to make it there, I'm afraid. Oh, oh what a superb job that was. John Dagenkorn, he nails it. We haven't seen anything of him all day. And the man with the smallest moustache has the biggest smile on the planet. Dagenkorn brings it in. That's definitely the, the first big goal of, of this year. Um, I love San Remo. It's, it's, a, it's an amazing race to was my first very big race to win, so I have uh, great memories on, on that day, on that race, and uh, this, this will be definitely the, yeah, my, biggest, uh, my, my first big goal for, for this season. Um, I'm really looking forward to, yeah, to the Classicissima. I look step by step, and uh, for me it's important to win a big uh, classic again. Um, I want to win San Remo and uh, let's, say, let's see what's, what's, what's coming after. And uh, I want to arrive in the best shape possible um, going, uh, starting in, in Milan and uh, then the finish of the classic season is basically in Roubaix. And uh, every race I start, I, I want to be as good as possible. Hundred meters to go. Surely nobody's going to catch it from this point. Oh, the Shimano have got this absolutely nailed on. The line approaches. Dagan Kolb is your hero. Crosses the line brilliantly. So. Oh, you change a lot in uh, in so much time. Uh, things are happening in life. You're getting married. You get kids. Uh, the, the whole situation uh, changes a lot, but. I think as a personality and as a, uh, as a person, you don't really change so much. I think I'm still as motivated as I was when I was, uh, when I was young and uh, I'm, I'm still crazy about cycling and uh, I like to just 
go out on the bike and uh, enjoy the time because this is for me getting getting freedom um, uh, just to to ride your bike and also to race uh, is, is something something very special for me it gives me feelings uh, what I actually don't don't get anywhere else it's just a big uh, big passion of, of myself and I think that passion never changed but uh, of course in almost 10 years uh, uh, things are changing in life but uh, that's something what never changed